Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cage the Warriors Academy presents three three minute rounds in the amateur Pantom Weight Division. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing GB Top Team, Delphi Huma! And his opponent in the red corner, representing Bushido Academy, Hesta Bankit! Back into the action then, Delphi Huma from GB Top Team in those black shorts, and he's fighting Hesta Bankit from Bushido Academy in the black and red shorts. Hesta Bankit 3 and 1, Delphi Huma 1 and 0. And Esteban Gid has a huge advantage in height and reach. And let's see what he can do with it. Going up high straight away. And he looks, again, a long rangey striker switching stances early. So let's see how this plays out, Nick. Yeah, Humer was able to throw that kick all the way up to where Gid's head was at. So that's good to see already. But for Delphi, it's one of those things as well, is he's trying to gauge, how do I get inside in order to be able to land the punches? Hands up, a leg kick that gets hit with the right hand. Looks like there's been a glancing eye poke incident in front of us. So Esteban Gid will get time to recover. We're back into the action here. Charter Hall in Colchester, Cage Roy's Academy. Hummer looks to rip a big right hand to the body. And for Hummer, that's a smart move. You see he's all the way out at the moment, Hummer. Giving did enough space, but he can't quite counter off the distance. Oh, he's a, he loves that right hand. Look at this. Oh, wow. Homer. Some nice. heavy shots there from Homer. And nice defense on this triangle that he's attempting to do. Once Homer had an opportunity to unleash, boy, did he unleash Nick. He was throwing those with bad intentions. Yeah, and the biggest thing was him being able to get close enough to be able to do it. Yeah. That kick by Homer that was able to catch, or that kick by Gid that Homer was able to catch, really did. Gid's got the arm. Oh, going for a Oma. Homer needs to slow things down. Remember, if you leave an arm, you're not going home with it. Holding onto that arm. Arm is out now. And Gid could be doing this as a way to pull. Rich Mitchell warning. Gid on the bottom saying, do not put your fingers in his gloves. And now Hummer looking to rain down some punishment from the top with those and spiteful Gid punches. Oh. That's a huge right hand right in front of us. Hummer able to just hammer those punches. And the clock has expired. I don't know if anyone is. And we continue. We shall see then. Second round about to get underway. Between Esteban Gibb and Delphi Hummer. And again, look at the distance between the two. The same boxing, you go either all the way in or all the way out. And Hummer at the moment is all the way out. Yeah. And a lot of that, though, for Delphi is no matter what he does, I mean, unless he's doing Superman punches to the chest, it's going to be hard for him to land anything. Yeah. Unless he's looking for, like, a counter as it comes in or to catch another leg kick. I think he's just looking to explode, isn't he? Make sure he's got that opportunity to do so when Gib comes towards him. Because he's very, very explosive when he does throw. Heavy leg kicks landing there from Hummer. He's going to end up on top here. Nice little trip takedown. But again, he's in that long leg guard of Gid. And Gid looking to trap 
one of the arms and also controlling the back of the head for the posture. Delphi's gonna wanna not leave any arms behind. Again, get locked onto that arm. And Delphi doing the right thing. You go knee on belly there. But you got to make sure that you can try to figure out a way to get that arm free. Beautiful trip by Gid. Now looking to. Now if we look though, those leg kicks that Delphi was throwing, they're already showing serious damage. Yeah, he's very, very explosive when he does throw and land. Just trying to find the right range, doesn't he, to do so. The long levers and limbs of Gid here. And he's, hard, he's in on that guillotine, it's an arm in. But he almost looked like he was gonna jump and guard and then thought twice of it. Now Duffy just doing a good job of staying kind of at that range, listening to his corner. I'm sure Brad Pickett's in there telling him what he needs to do. I'd be looking to probably get the double leg and dump it off to the side. I wouldn't want to end up back in guard, but you could get that takedown and end up in side control. But we care for a dip in there into the shot. And he's dipping and now Gid's kind of trying to time it to get exactly, that shot. Exactly, exactly. Great leg kick though by Homer right before the takedown. We are ready to go. Cage Warriors Academy 29. Colchester Charter Hall, Mark Heath. Nick Albert with you. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday night. And it could all be to play for here in this third and final round. And again, he goes to the body. As I said in the first, that's such a wise move. He's had so much success as well with that leg kick. I'd look at doing that outside leg kick again. I love the way he's looking to counter the leg kick of Gid as well with the right hand straight over the top. And with Gid, he's got that hand low and he's kind of pawing out that jab. He's got to put something behind that jab. Kid may be getting a bit sloppy here with the technique. You can see as Gig comes forward, Humber bounces back, doesn't he? He's trying to maintain that space, just as you say, to counter, I believe, or then explode. Get it switched stance there for a bit, and I don't know if it was that last leg kick that caused it. Ooh. And looking to isolate the arms is Gid. As he pulls guard, he's got one arm isolated. He's gonna try to go for the flying arm bar. Oh, triangle. And Holmes just gonna lean him up against the cage. And Delphi will use that to have him slide right off. Mm -hmm. Smart move there. Yeah, very composed. Knew what the situation was, cope with it very well. And I mean, Delphi's now in on a deep body lock. It's always harder when you're the shorter guy to try to get the takedown when it's a body lock like that. You want to reach down, grab both of those long legs, and try to get them as close together as possible. And again, get going for that neck. His arms and legs are everywhere, aren't they? They're so long. Really good learning fight this for Homer. And it's a, a, a great like way to force him to keep his head in the right spot. Yeah. This entire time he's keeping his head right up underneath that chin, right off to the side. Every time he feels that arm comes up, he pops it back under because he knows, uh oh. 10 seconds left then. What's been an absorbing clash of styles here. Yeah. 
And there we go, end of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Who scored about 29-28, 30-27 and 29-28. All three in favour of your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Delphi 